10 times. No secret coming into this game. They're going to work Tyreek Hill, try to get him the football as many times as they could. Well, I like the way they started with uh, Devon Achan. And they, you know, they threw him the football. The right now, both Millions. Sanders kicks right. his Can he fumble this? Straight up the left side. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Inside Dolphin territory. Down the sideline he goes. Justice Hill with an explosive kickoff return. What in the world is going on? Elijah Campbell, the tackle for Miami. Jackson under center gives it to Edwards. Edwards off right tackle. Breaks through one group and gets down to the 10 yard line. Gus Edwards. That's, that's that defensive line. <laughs> Play action back to the Right, touchdown. Just a walk in touchdown by Isaiah Likely. His second score of the ball game. And Joe, no. Tucker, the kick is up and good. 35 to 13. The Ravens on top of the Miami Dolphins. 13 29. Barrios will let it go. And the Dolphins start at their own 25 yard line. Well, Jimmy, I I've been waiting to hit you with this one. The Dolphins right. were down 35 14 in the third last year up here. Scored 28 points in the fourth quarter to come back and win, but they got a lot of work. Of course, Tua had six touchdown passes that last year in this game, too. Time to get it right. First and ten. A-Chan, the running back, he puts Hill in motion, pitches it to A-Chan. A-Chan looking for a gap, got it, 30. Oh, man. Five and a first down. Out to the 30 Good play. Yard line. 36. They run a tunnel screen this time to Hill on the right side. He's out to the 42 yard line. Taken down by Achan in motion. Two are looking. He's going to run with it. Here down. Sack back at the 34 yard line by Matabike. He's got 15 now. Yeah. Robert Jones jumped the gun. Full start. Offense. Back to throw two are looking. Throws it out to Berrios. Berrios cuts across but can't get much out of it. He picks up about four yards to the 35. And don't Wallace to return, man. Throws to his right. It's up to the top. Ah, good Two job, yards. guys. That away. By Hill. Ravens have it back with 10:34 left to play in the third. You're listening to the Miami Dolphins Radio Network. Give it to Edwards. Edwards picks up three or four. That could throw. Gets it off. Wide open. And he can't hit. Connect with Lamar Jackson back to throw. Steps up as a receiver. Got the first down and more. It's uh, Justice Hill down the sideline. It's either Saturday or Sunday. Has not yet been determined. Second and eight. Gives it to Edwards. And he is, oh, he yes. Jeez, the Deshaun. There we go. Keep him competing. One good play at a time. He, that ball was out. I think that ball is out. Zach Sealer. Yeah, I think that's going to stay. I it's agree. moving. It's moving, yep. Joe. It's moving I, well before you. No, the I think Dolphins going to get the ball. At their own 45-yard line, they finally get it turned over. First and 10, Miami. HM, the running back, goes in motion to the left. Back to throw over the middle, and it's picked off by Geno Stone. Oh, the Thirty-seven of Baltimore. Right Lamar Jackson out of the shotgun. Dave Flowers in motion. They pull it out. And give it to him on the wing. He steps out at the forty-five yard line. Get him about seven or eight. Third down and two. Keeps it, and he's taken down. Mm. He's not pulled by Good job, defense. Duke Riley was right there to stop. Uh, find some other weapons here to go to. <laughs> I 
nice punt end over end. It hits and takes a dolphin bounds and down to the 22 yard line by the Ravens special teams. So Miami has pretty good field position, Joe. Yeah, coming man. off that punt to the right of Tua. Field in motion. Play action. They dump it down and they get into their tight end and it's a first down. Wait. Hill. Julian Hill, nice solid run, 89. Second down five. Play action. Two rolling to his left. Ooh, good time. Good time. Oh. We got a flag in the middle here, Jimmy. At the 43 yard line. Yeah, that's usually a defensive. Uh, you gotta, you're probably going to have to play Buffalo for the AFC East Championship at home. Well, I tell you what, they, they raved all week again for a second week. Back to throw, second and 10. Tua's going to run with it. Now he slides down inside Ravens right. territory at about the 48-yard line. So about the 48 of the Ravens, but they're down by 22 points. With about 17 minutes left to play in this game. Tua downfield. He's got Wilson with a nice back shoulder. Good hands. That way, he said. In front of Geno Stone. Look like confusion. Once Tyreek. Play action. Tua. Oh, he dropped it. Boy, to a good pass. You can't throw it any better. Third and 11, give him time. Third down and long. Back to throw to a steps. Oh. Good job, Jeff. Jay-Z plays hard. The Dolphins will have to go for it here. We get the fourth quarter. Barrios in motion. They scored on fourth down. Let's see what the Dolphins do here. Good job, Tua. Braxton. All right, some momentum going into the fourth. With the score of the Ravens, 35. The Miami Dolphins 13. You're listening to the Miami Dolphins Radio Network presented by the Palm Beach. He meets true performance. Learn more at Kia.com. Kia, movement that inspires. As we begin this fourth quarter, it's the Ravens 35, the Dolphins 13. Dolphins have a chance to get back. Well, at least make it respectable. They were knocking on the door first and 10 for the Baltimore 17 yards. Jeff Wilson takes the pitch right side, looking for a crack, trying to get around the corner. Jeez. God. Jeff Wilson Jr. He's tough. Dipped inside, went back outside, stayed down the sideline. Boy, great thing. Jeff Wilson. 14 holes three left to play in this football game here in Baltimore. Score it fast. Oh man, Devon, there you go. There you go, the comeback's on. Come on, come on, Dolphins. Jeez, good athletic play. Wow. Good job, Chua, way to stand firm. Buy some time. His third receiving touchdown of the year. Going to go for two. They liked it so much. Right. Going to go for two. Get it to a two touchdown game. Fourteen. Already is. Actually. Empty backfield. They put Hill in motion. Back to throw. Oh. The end zone. Oh. Jeez. Oh. Like he should have had it. Pretty good Hill, defense. The tight end. The backup. And he couldn't come down with the Jimmy's ball, Joe. Gotta catch that one. Yeah. yeah you know, Stone. Catching Tuck. To 19. You're listening to the Miami Dolphins Radio Network, presented by the Palm Beaches. If you want to win your fantasy football league, you need to listen to... 35 to 19 now. The Ravens on top of the Dolphins. 13.57 left to play. Fourth quarter here in Baltimore. And so the Dolphins... Are still within two scores, right? Two I scores. I got back in it here, Jimmy, with that. 
Wallace rather, takes a knee a yard deep in the end zone. So, Jimmy, you're going to need your defense here. If you know, play action fake, back to throw, looking, looking. Throws it, was oh. caught, coming across. Buffalo next week. In Buffalo, by the way. They give it to Edwards. Edwards wrapped up by Rickwan Davis, who shows great strength in holding off a lineman and Edwards at the same time. Oh, and there goes the juice going down the sideline. It's just as Hill again. Finally taken down at the four-yard line by Elliott and Ramsey. Boy, that thing opened up, Jimmy. Edwards again. He is stopped. Good job, line. defense. I lost about a half a yard on the play. <clears throat> Edwards, the running back, third and goal. Play action back to throw. Look in wide open. Touchdown. It's Patrick Ricard. Ravens have extended their lead 42 to 19 over the Miami Dolphins with 9.38 left to play here in the fourth quarter. You're listening to the Miami Dolphins Radio Network brought to you by the Palm Beaches. Dolphins fans, I'm Kyle Krabs, host of the daily Miami Dolphins podcast, Locked On Dolphins, part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Barrios takes it on the run at the 10, 15, and out to the 25 yard line. I'll tell you one thing, Braxton Barrios runs hard, hard, hard yeah. on these returns. Good job. We made some play action. So he's just got to dump it into the ground. He wanted an goal, but the defensive end was not fooled by yeah, the play today, action. Yeah. At home against New England, they're ahead right now, last I heard. That means next week's game is for the AFC East title at Hard Rock Stadium between Buffalo and Miami. Back to throw Tua, get pressure. Nobody touched. Wait, if somebody uh, got me offside. Oh, no wait, nobody touched. Lamar Jackson sacked just once. Tua. Play action, back to throw, looking, stepping up into the pocket. He's going to run for it and does not get to the first down yeah. marker. And so they'll turn it over on downs. Oh, wait, the tackle. He slid, Jimmy. Could have a good move. He goes forward. He's going to take a big hit. And a lot of guys ready to hit. live to play another day, right? Yeah. Queen. They got an important game next week. They can't forget that. They can't afford to lose two and out. Well, he got forced out of the. Out of the pocket, he had no yeah. choice but to run with it. But no, he, he, I mean, he's got, he's yeah. going to get popped. He had four Ravens around him. He had to go to the ground. Two are holding that left arm a little funny on the oh, side. Oh, boy, you're right. Training staff with him. Two and two. They had the ball to Edwards. Edwards picks up about three. They just want to run clock if they can. Yeah. 7.48 clock tick and Andrew Van Ginkle to stop for Miami. I'll tell you what, Jimmy, they're impressive. They've beaten, they've had tough schedule. Yeah. They give it to Gordon again. And he is fighting his way downfield. Ouch. Well, now you got to go ahead. You got to. You got. You got to rebound quickly. And yeah, because you got to play. You got a game. You still got a home game coming. If you, you know, win this next game, and who knows, maybe the Patriots will come back with the away. Bills. After the play, there are two fouls against the defense on the play. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number two. The penalties declined. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number five. Definitely be happy. Boy, Jimmy, the way this thing started today, I thought it was going to be a good game. Dolphins got off to a great start, went up 7-0 on that first drive. I mean, they just, it was perfection going down the field. It was. The second drive didn't do too badly either. He oh, dropped a touchdown. Yeah, or he got 14, you're right. They kicked a the field goal. But, and the ball to the running back right up the middle. And Gordon fights his way into the end zone for another touchdown. Oh boy, they went 49 to 19. I wouldn't think we'd come back out. But... Open with 411 left to play in this football game. Well, they kicked this round pretty good. One team's most likely going to be a wild card, the other one's going to definitely win the NCAA. No reason, no. No, you can't. Look, now you've got to look forward to next week. You gave your best, your best shot here, it didn't work out. Now you're <clears> staying at home next week and you got to beat the Buffalo Bills to win the AFC East. That's what it comes down to. Yeah, they put their backup offensive uh, line in, which they should. It's the running back now. Oh, he right. dropped the football. It's on the ground. The Ravens have it. 
and nobody touched the man down. Now they finally tackled at the seven yard line. It was Trenton Simpson. On the Ravens team. Rolling to his right is Gordon, and he stopped behind the line of scrimmage on first. And big passing plays today. The Ravens have rushed for 168 yards. Right, as of right now, Jim. And we know it threw for over 300. They're close to 500 yards of offense. Black against the Ravens here at M&T Bank Stadium. Give it to Gordon. Chubb chasing him down. And he's tackled, but Chubb fell down. He might have been injured, Joe. He's down on the ground. Christian Wilson to tackle. So that's oh, the problem with all of this. Once the game is over, Jeez. I think you get your stars out of the football yeah. game. Yeah. He's probably... Now, that was him play. screaming. Mm -hmm. Lose him. Oh. God. Oh, boy. Let's follow that seconds for station identification. You're listening to the Miami Dolphins radio network. All day long on Sirius XM NFL Radio Channel 88 and the Sirius XM app. Bradley Chubb, just uh, last three minutes of a blowout. Bradley Chubb gets hurt. We have another huge game to play next yeah, week. A big game. Well, yeah. that's never a good sign either. No. Nice to see, but oh, it generally means that it's something and, and that I gotta tell you they too, already identified. That's also demoralizing to a defense. You see a, another one of your top players on defense go out and have the year he's had. And he was playing like the all pro they yeah. traded for when that's they right. traded that's for right. him from Denver. You know, he came in last year midway through the year and it. He never really got that same kind of a all-pro performance, and now this year he did. That's two top linebackers the Dolphins have lost this year. Who knows? What, we don't know what this injury is, but well, I know what they, they lost Jalen Ramsey early in the year, an all-pro quarterback. He came back. David Howard was injured earlier today. Will he be back next week? Another question. Only back to throw. End zone. Touchdown. Wow. Charlie Kohler, the backup tight end. That's a 50 burger, by the way. Yeah, that's a 50 burger. 56 to 19. Don't put 60 on me, bro. Don't put 60 on me. Six touchdown passes. <coughs> I'm sorry, that's five by Lamar and the one by, uh, one by Huntley. Huntley, right? Yeah. We have a lot about these guys, Jimmy, and uh, what they have left at home next week. The latest I have is still 27 21 over the Patriots with 148 remaining. Buffalo has the football. We play, whether it's Saturday or Sunday, or what time of day, we're not certain yet. The networks and the, and the NFL will make that decision. Uh, Sometime tonight, apparently. You know, they were banged up. Both sides of the ball. Mike White in at quarterback. Chris Brooks, the running back, takes the handoff. Puts back inside, and he is drilled. Right. The Kia models in stock now and ready for immediate delivery. Like the each championship will come down to the game next week against uh, the Dolphins and Bills at Hard Rock Stadium. Not sure if it'll be Saturday or Sunday. The NFL and the legal, uh, the NFL and the, the network will decide tonight. Brooks, with the uh, handoff off tackle. Fourth on the yard. And we got a fly right now because. Uh, Great season, great 2023. Got to find a way to win next week. That would be a high. Give it to Brooks, and he is fighting to not get the first down. Yeah, that's going to do it. Broderick Washington, the tackle, they'll go over to the Ravens. They'll take a knee. Let's get out of here. And we'll be done with the final score. The Ravens 56, the Miami Dolphins 19.
five touchdown passes for that. It's just amazing. Old fashioned butt kicking right there. Haven't seen one of those in a while, Joe. And so the Dolphins again will uh, play next weekend, either Saturday or Sunday. We'll know tonight sometime against the Buffalo Bills for the AFC East Championship. Dolphins are already in the playoffs, but they'll either go in as the AFC East champ or they'll go in as a wild card. Just gotta find out about Bradley Chubb, Xavier Howard, can Jalen Waddle come back and play? Uh, uh, Raheem Mostert. Raheem Mostert, shoot. <laughs> Sorry about that. Raheem Mostert. I'd like to have all those guys back for this last game. Yeah, as our game day produce, uh, broadcast producer, Will Altov. Send it back to our Miami Dolphins Radio Network studio at Travis Whitfield, OJ McDuffie, and Seth Levins with the Miami Dolphins Post Game Live. Disappointing are the first few words here. It's all going to come down to week 18 as the Dolphins lose in embarrassing fashion 56 to 19 to the now top seeded Baltimore Ravens. And this team next week, OJ, is going to have to pick themselves up off the mat. And I want to start here with you because you sent a tweet out that I think probably resonates across most of Dolphins Nation right now, who is at this point beyond tired of coming up small in big moments. Yeah. Got a big win last week over the Cowboys, but. All those good feelings now undone after an absolute beatdown at the hands of the Baltimore Ravens. Man, just when you think, you know, the team has, you know, <clears throat> made that, taken that step, Travis and Big Seth, you know, you go out there and you, you start off playing a game kind of decent, but then after that, you get steamrolled. And, the one, and probably the biggest game we've seen here in a long, long time. And, you know, I say it all the time, I said in the pregame show, I think this team can play with anybody. We couldn't play. We couldn't play with that team today, obviously. And I got to start thinking that, you know, the way my tweet says, Travis, I got to start thinking with my head instead of my heart sometimes when it comes to this team. As much as we love this team, we've got to be realistic about some of the things that they're not able to do. Um, you looked at a Baltimore team that came out there buzzing today, making plays, one-hand catches, you know, contested catches, running wide open, blocking. We, we, we couldn't seem to make the simple look simple today. You know, and that's a sign of a, a team that's not as good as I, I think they are. And then, of course, we get banged up along the way, get beat up, some guys get hurt. X, X gets hurt. Of course, we saw what just happened with Chubb at the end. Uh, Tua gets banged up. And it, it makes it even worse. Insult to injury. Uh, so I'm like, more than anything, man, I'm very disappointed that guys can go out there knowing how big this game is and make some plays. Everything's, everything's right in front of them. On my way out of Millbank, and probably the best thing, uh, devastating. Got to get my mind off of it and just enjoy my time with Sue. Thankfully, I have her. Uh, it was a beat down, a royal beat down. The Dolphins did not compete. Um, the injuries to X25, Chubb, pretty much know he's gone for the season is the way he was screaming out. And then Tua, who knows, but... The high of last Sunday, and then there's the this Sunday. So, Buffalo, bring him on. See what happens. Hopefully get Waddle back. Raheem, easy to dog the team right now, get all down. But such is the NFL, ups and downs. All right.